Hey everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. We're gonna talk about major match ammo today. I have a different a theory on, on this than a lot of people, but uh, I'm gonna share with you our theory here at Atlas Gunworks. I think it makes a lot of sense. If you think we're crazy, then um, you can disregard the information here, but I think it's pretty solid. So I watch all these guys drive to matches, spend all this money, and for 40 or $50 worth of brass, they're shooting their junkiest range brass, because guess what, they're gonna leave it there. So that's a problem. There's a couple of things going on, but the first tip is simply this. Every major match I go to, I shoot brand new brass. Just shoot it, leave it, it's fine, whatever. That's 15 cents around, but I, your gun's gonna run better, and you're gonna reduce the chances for, for problems by a ton. So we're gonna talk about the brass first. <clears throat> brand new brass does a couple of things. One, the body's already pre-sized and hasn't been blown out, right? So the body's gonna hold the bullet better, less bullet setback. Secondly, there's no base blowout, right? So you don't get a piece that was out of an old Glock or something where you're gonna bulge in it and it might not feed well. So we've eliminated that. There are typically no huge scuff marks in the brass. In fact, when I run brand new, I take out my size die just not to stress the brass case at all or leave any grooves in it. So if you looked at it, it looks brand new like, you know, if you go buy ammo at the store and there's no scratches, there's no gouges. Well, those feed better out of mags, right? We're stacking these things 20 to 30 a piece on top of each other. They'll move better in the mags. They'll also not have any, we've had a few people with mag failures lately and they're like, oh, I didn't change anything except the way I lube my brass. Yeah, you won't have any brass lube on there either. Um, no size die, no lube. You just run them the way they are. And so you won't have any lube sticking in your mags or catching dirt. So spend the money on the brand new brass. The primers will sit better. They're like, uh, we could talk about it for an hour, but brand new brass will help you tremendously. I have not racked around out of a gun at a major match due to ammo since I switched to brand new brass. So other considerations, uh, bullet type, right? I know that all you guys like the, the, the lower cost bullets and I shoot whatever's cheap um, for matches and practice, but not majors. So what I do, my theory is, the beginning of the season, if I'm shooting 40 cal or, or 9 major, or whatever we're shooting, we're gonna load up uh, enough to get me through the majors in one whack. So I'm gonna load a small batch. Um, I'm gonna load, oh, probably 200. Go shoot a little bit, get a chrono, decide I like everything the way it's set up, and then I'm gonna come back here and make 2,000, 2,500, whatever it is. Brand new brass, all one whack. The, the other tip to the brand new brass is the machines run flawlessly with brand new brass in them. Take junk brass out of your machines and they, they just, I mean, they run a hundred times better. So the trick is this, what I do is I turn the machine on, uh, I've decided I've chopped my 200, decided I'm gonna chronograph well, I like what I'm doing. Um, turn the machine on, run 50 to 100. If they're perfect, not one hiccup with the machine, not one thing I don't like, I put those aside into a practice ammo, and then I run my ammo until the machine misbehaves. And I can typically get through two or 3,000 without uh, a hiccup when I'm running brand new brass. Um, primers, match ammo. There's no reason not to run a superior primer. So soft primers work really well. Um, I won't throw brand names out there, but I tend to run the softest primer. I also match my primers to my machines. These two machines like primers that are different from the manual um, 650 machines. So your machine's gonna have a primer, it particularly loads better. If that's the primer, that's the primer, great. We run small pistol primers, skip the rifle stuff. Doesn't matter the caliber. Um, and then put a good projectile in it, right? So you're going to a major match, we'll come back to bullets, but shoot a jacketed bullet, shoot one you know. If you spend two or three extra cents, again, even if you've got 20 cents extra in the ammo, that I promise you that, you know, you w go get bad match results because you made a mistake. That's my goal, right? Um, and of course, I'm trying not to make mistakes, but I do not want to lose because my mag or my ammo quit. So eliminate, um, and then also if you've got a mag that spring that's about to quit, and you've got brand new brass in there, that helps too, right? Every It's all a factor. Usually when your gun stops, it's not one thing. It's two or three little things coming together. So we're trying to give every opportunity to go shoot two or 300 rounds maybe 400 rounds and have zero stoppages. Um, and so quality ammo is gonna matter there. Uh, be aware that some of the powders are temperature sensitive. So we're here in Vermont at 20 below. It doesn't help me to go test powder and then drive down south and shoot at 100 degrees. 
So make sure you've got an understanding of your powder temp um, and how your powders can perform at different temperatures. Uh, it goes both ways, up and down. So those are the tricks to making good match ammo. Case gauge everything, of course, um, and make sure this is a. We'll do a separate video on this too, but make sure your case gauge is tighter than your chamber. So how do we do that? I find a round that won't go in my case gauge. You know, I got a round that's it's or it's sticky even in there, right? So it's just a little sticky. Um, I want to go put that in my gun and and have it flop right in there, like absolute. And then what I always do when I get a new case gauge is I go stick rounds. Um, in the gun and find one that's just a little sticky and then I want to make sure it doesn't even come close here like phew, done um, so this just needs to be tighter um, the hundos have been good for us for a long time keep in mind that they're making those out of aluminum and they are reaming it doesn't matter who's case gauge they are having a CNC machine ream those things at speed I'm sure they're not all the same right so you could buy like anything in our reloading world you could buy five of the same thing and it's not the same as the one you bought you know, two years ago. So everything needs to be tested and checked. This is racing, you're at the highest level, you need to have um, the best fuel, right? And the ammo is the fuel for that game. So make good match ammo and, uh, and go win matches.